Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Wonders. Uh, this is my last uh, review of the four uh, journals I have from the Disney Archive Collection uh, replicas that uh, represent the books that were used for the, move, the animated classics and they used like a real book uh, both at the beginning and at the end of the film and, and this one is the one for The Sword in the Stone, which is one of my favorite movies as well. Uh, I've already reviewed Snow White, uh, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, and this is the last one. Um, this is the one I love the least, I think, uh, because it's, I don't know, I, I just find it very rustic in a way, although I guess it was just like that. For, for the one used in the movie, but uh, the other ones are more, much more intricate and and I find them more magical just because of that. But this one is very magical too and it has all the touches like this. I think I think it's metal, like metal um, touches over there. And then the lock with the with the hole for the for the key to open in the the journal and and so it has the, and this one seems to be like very old as well as it's like, I, I bought this one at the physical store. So again, these ones are being handled. And anyway, the material for this one is very similar to that of Sleeping Beauty, which is for leather uh, that is uh, waterproof. So it won't stain as much or you can clean it. The one from Cinderella that actually is, is um, used for the Cinderella one is the most fragile one as it would actually absorb all the stains, ink, whatever. So it's it's really fragile to just be handled it a lot because it will get dirty. Uh, but this one is really, it's really easy. Anyway, so it has this lock that we, we don't need the key, but so we can, it's a bit hard. Okay. And um, ready? <laughs> it has this green cover here. And then here we have the, the info that says uh, several of the opening and closing scenes featuring Walt Disney's animated masterpieces include brief sequences showing the opening and closing of a grand storybook and are some of the most iconic moments in Disney film history. Recreate that special cinematic moment with help from the Walt Disney archives in this journal, featuring illustrations from the classic 1963 animated feature The Sword in the Stone. This storybook replica will take you on your own fabled adventure. Uh, line pages in sight even allow you to imagine more tales of um, heraldry and heroism. Take home a piece of the magic with this one-of-a-kind item. Every single disclaimer or information is different and you will find it in both English and French. I could, I could read in both languages but I, I would assume that it would be better in general, if I do it in, in, in English for for everyone out there. And then here we have the a really nice again here I will I would like to point out that the print, even though it looks as neat, very neat actually, uh in the video I can see that it's not quite completely Super high definition, I would I would say. Um, the same happened with the Snow White one, and then the best were Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella for me. I don't know. Maybe everyone, um, every, yeah, maybe every single one is different depending of the the printing. I really don't know, but still very cute. And this one has a stain there. Oh gosh, I don't know what what that is. It doesn't have texture or anything. I, I don't know. It could just be like. Um, from the tassel or just again I bought this at the store it has some discoloration over there but still I mean it makes it uh, like looking like an old book which is really nice and I, I very much like this pattern again it's not as precise or neat or high definition in real life but it's very very cute and then it says here legend it sang of when England was young. It befell in the days of Arthur Pendragon when he was king of all England and so reigned. There were great knights, many a goodly battle, um, 
and Charles was enjoyed by Arthur and his knights at this long time. And this is yeah. And then we will get into the into the actual journal from this for this one we don't have a picture. I don't know. Let's see now. We don't have anything in that corner. We only have um this really nice uh um artwork in this side of the uh at this corner in the second page so again I, like i was i was what i was saying is that well this is more ha yeah better definition but if you compare the definition of that one with that one you cannot really appreciate it here but this is not as high definition but anyway it's kind of cool and and then again that they've added just another extra page for this pattern which is amazing it's very victorian uh turn of the 20th century uh actually even though this is like a medieval um i don't know it could be baroque as well but this is very medieval so i don't i don't know it's like a mixture of things but sometimes that happens with <laughs> with how how disney have um incorporated uh historical things uh at the time it was released i don't know if this actually appears in the movie as such or it has been added recently by the disney imagineers uh but anyway to me this is more baroque or uh, turn of the century uh, pattern that is incredibly cute and this is very middle ages anyway so you have lots of space lots of pages for you to write adventures um, everyday stuff um, I don't know you have a lot of space so really uh, again it can be used as a really nice prop and also you can use it for your own purposes and you can fill it with lots of magic and love and <laughs> adventure and i'm gonna just go to the end uh to see what we have prepared for us oh well nothing really yeah so <laughs> apparently this one uh didn't have an end or anyway so so after the um the last page it's just the the green um the green extra cover and that's it really and then here we have the information of all disney archives again this doesn't take the magic away or anything maybe they should have put uh this first one at the back because we would already have had this one anyway uh but it's very very cute it's very cute and and then again what matters is like the overall uh artistry of it is really nice it's re very well put together it's supposed to give that sort of like um used but then very animated also sort of uh book cover uh but very cute with lots of detail uh same as with the other three i've already reviewed i hope you liked it very much and so don't forget to like the video subscribe for many more um incredible um incredibly nice reviews that i will be doing um <laughs> i don't know if they will be nice but uh, but i will i will be reviewing uh well i'm sure they will <laughs> uh incredibly nice items that i i do have uh uh, for you and and so please stay tuned and and you will you will get many more magical breaks like this one so for now best of vibes and see you very soon bye bye